Hi guys, I am Luan Skaggs and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made this giant 3D wall clock. So if you'd like to see how I made this wall clock, then come with me and let's get started. To get started with this project, I'm going to be using this customizable wall clock that I found on Amazon. Now the reason I saw it on Amazon is because I first saw it on my good friend in my head, Yodip Essentials. I absolutely adore this woman and all of her wonderful creations. So I will link the video that she did in the description down below. These are the pieces that comes in the box. I'll be removing the numbers and sticking them onto the foam. Then we'll be removing the protective plastic. We'll be doing this for all of the pieces and then we'll come back. Once I had all the numbers pieces together, I'm going to start to work on the clock. The clock pieces have a metal finish and the numbers pieces have a mirror finish. I want the clock pieces to be mirrored as well. So I'm going to be using this plastic mirrored sheet that I picked up on Amazon and I'm going to use this to cover the clock. I traced the clock onto the mirrored sheet and cut out a rough piece. Then I stuck it onto the clock and cut out the excess. I forgot to show, but there's a plastic coating over the mirrored sheet that you need to remove in order to reveal the shine. I'm using this trim that looks like crushed mirror glass and I'm going to use this around the edges of the clock. Now all the materials I'm using in this project would be found in the description down below. When we are gluing on our trim, we want to make sure and not cover up the hole where we're going to hang the clock on the wall. And for the hands, I'll cover these with mirror reflective paper. Now you could use whatever you like to decorate your clock. They gave us this paper tool so we could evenly place the numbers on the wall. And we want to make sure and line up number 12 with the hole that we have on top. I'll temporarily stick it onto the clock and go outside and we could start placing the numbers on the wall. Now all you do is hang it on the wall and start to place the numbers. This template is very long, so I folded it to the size of the clock that I wanted. You could make your clock as big or as small as you want. It is completely up to you. And to set your numbers is so easy, guys. All you have to do is look at the number on the piece of paper, pull your paper down and stick your number. It is that simple to do. Yes, guys, I realize I placed the three in the wrong direction. I realized that when my husband came home and pointed it out to me. As you could see, I too make mistakes. Now we'll take out our paper and start to assemble the clock. The short hand goes on first and the long hand goes on after. Then we'll screw the hands in place. Now we'll put in the batteries and mount it on the wall. Now I'm using these 3D mirrored butterflies that I picked up from an Amazon. They come with their own adhesive, but I'm going to use this double-sided tape. There are three different sizes of butterflies, so I separate them out into their own individual stacks. Then I took each of the butterflies and bent the wings up so that it have much more of a 3D look. Once I was finished bending all of the butterfly wings, I took off the protective plastic that it had over the butterflies. Then I cut out little pieces of double-sided tape and stuck them on all of the butterflies. Now this is one project that you would want to do over time, where you could watch TV or do things like that while you peel butterfly, while you take off the protective layer, or when you're sticking on things like these or bending the wings. So this is a fun project that you could do anytime that you have spare time and watching TV or doing something like that. Once I was finished, I came and stuck the butterflies onto the wall. Now I started with the bigger ones near the numbers and graduated out to the smaller ones at the end. Now you could place your butterflies in any pattern that you want and you could place them as close or as far as you want them to be. This is just the way that I did it. Once I placed most of the butterflies on the wall, I realized that the numbers was getting lost and you could hardly see them. So I picked up six of these wrong Dollar Tree foam and spray painted them with the black Rust-Oleum spray paint. 
Then I decided to put on some glitter for some shine and sparkle and to make the numbers stand out and look even more rich on the wall. All you have to do is glue on the numbers to the foam. Then you'll repeat the same process that I showed you all in the beginning when I glued on the numbers onto the wall. So this is the final look. I don't know if you guys could tell, but it's really huge. It takes up the entire wall in the living room. I absolutely love how this clock turned out. It makes a bold statement and when anybody comes over, they thoroughly enjoy and love this idea. So if this is something that you like and is something that you'd like to try out, leave it in the comment section down below. You know I love hearing from you guys. So bye for now, stay safe and have a blessed and awesome day. See you in the next one.